feral hogs are, are, are responsible for 1.6 billion dollars in agricultural damage in the United States uh, every year. Uh, the uh, sing single largest problem with feral hogs is they're expanding so rapidly. Uh, and in order for us to get a really good handle on the hog populations, we need to capture those entire sounders, the very large groups of the hogs, so we avoid educating others outside of the traps, other hogs outside of the traps to the dangers of corral traps. Uh, so traps that incorporate this full sound of removal technology, uh, those tra traps are going to be the things of the future. Some of the conventional traps that are out there today uh, available to, to landowners are just not very effective at capturing feral hogs because uh, they don't capture the entire sounder because of trap shyness issues. Hogs seem to be inherently trap shy uh, of those type of traps because there's a threshold to walk through. Uh, there's panels at ground level. Uh, where we've used uh, drop nets to capture feral hogs in the past, uh, we've noticed those to be a lot more effective alternative because they are suspended trap. Uh, the hogs don't seem to associate that overhead canopy with any type of danger. Uh, they much quickly enter those type of traps and are, are, and are able to be captured. We've done a little bit of research on those techniques and 86% of the population we're able to capture with drop nets and only 49% of the population we're able to capture with the corral traps. So we did realize there are some advantages to both of those techniques. Uh, the, the advantages of the corral traps were the rigid structure that hogs could, could spend the night in uh, once they were captured. The drop net, those advantages such as the suspended nature, allowing pigs to enter from any direction, see all the way through the trap without encountering panels at ground level. So what we realized was that a hybrid of those two systems was probably the best option. And basically that's what we've got here. Uh, this is a completely suspended corral trap. Uh, we also wanted to incorporate things like uh, avoidance of, of uh, non-target species. So. Uh, Live video streaming uh, at a site is, is, a, is a good option to, to get rid of those non-target captures uh, and that's what also we did in this trap as well. So what would happen if an animal approached this trap, I would get a text message on my phone letting me know that there are animals in the trap vicinity. I could then log on, watch a live video stream of what's going on and when, the, when all the animals congregate and it's the right moment I'm able to catch all of those in one drop, I hit the button uh, and go back to sleep. So basically how this trap would be constructed is, is, is you would drag the, all these six pieces off of a trailer, uh, pin the inner three panels together, bolt the outer three panels together. All this would be done on the ground. Uh, you use this boat winch right here, uh, hook in a different location to raise the inner ring. The legs then drop down into position, forming that, that steady uh, inner ring. Then you'd move the, the winch down to this location, uh, raise up that outer panel at that time the latch would catch the outer panel on the other side and the trap would be set ready to go. There's an integrated door you see right here uh, that basically we can load pigs out of the trap without euthanizing those inside of the trap. We can load those into a, into a trailer, transport those to slaughter facility uh, you know, for, for marketing feral hog. So this is a live streaming camera. Basically what would happen if an animal approached the vicinity of this trap uh, the camera would send me a text message. It's got an internet card inside of that. So it would send me a text message letting me know that there's there's motion inside the trap. At that time, I could use my iPhone or my computer at home to log on and watch a live video stream of the system. Uh, and when the animals, when, when the entire group, the entire sounder of hogs uh, get in the center of that trap and I feel like I'm ready to drop, I can tell that camera to drop the trap. It talks to the white box on the trap and the trap falls. Noble Foundation is, is has done a lot of the research on, on feral hogs and, and, and we, we went through a lot of research to come to this point. Uh, we, you know, we, we've done the research project on various corral traps and, and box traps and drop nets and, and realized what those advantageous features of each of those traps was and tried to incorporate it into this type of trap. And the uh, foundation is, is going to hand this off to someone to bring to market. Uh, what we've done with this trap, this is, you're looking at prototype 3.2, I think. Uh, we, we've done a lot of the developments on this trap to make it more user friendly, make it safer, make it just as effective and also try to reduce the cost so that those different developments don't need to be done by someone bringing this trap to market therefore increasing the cost. We want this to get into as many landowners hands as possible because we realize it is an effective technology to capture those feral hogs and, to, and we, you know, if we can capture 88% of the population um, with, with these traps we are actually putting a dent in those numbers.